I might run it up money long as all right you're gonna want to start off by just importing your clip and syncing it up to the beat I have added two sound effects right here both of which are in the description as uh, so you can go ahead and download those uh, completely for free uh, if you so desire uh, anyway we've got this entire thing sort of uh, you know keyframed and synced and uh, <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start off by just importing our clip and syncing it up to the beat. I've already added a couple sound effects right here. This is the pump sound uh, that just, you know, plays on the impact. And this is going to be the build up. Uh, both of these are going to be in the description. Uh, so if you want either of them, just go ahead and download what is down there. Uh, anyway, once you've done all of this, just go ahead and add velocity to this entire track. Double click on the impact. Go back four frames. So one, two, three, four. Double click here. Uh, now go back 20 frames. So if it says 116, we're going to go to 156 right there. We're then going to double click here. Uh, we are going to go to this middle velocity keyframe, set it to 50. We're going to set this to 300. We're then going to go forward two and set it back to 50. Uh, this is going to make it, you know, sort, sort of, sort of cool, you know, sort of synced and, you know, just add a sort of cool slow-mo uh, at the start. Uh, now what we're going to want to do is just make a new video track by pressing Control shift 2 on our keyboard uh, or just right clicking on this empty area and inserting a video track. Uh, hold Control on this main track and just drag it up uh, just like that. Uh, now what you're going to want to do is just split the clip on the impact right there and also split it on this first keyframe. Uh, Alright, once you have deleted the two sort of side parts, you're going to want to go into your video effects folder and apply the preset that is in the description that is called the 30 frame color buildup. Uh, now, once you do this, I will admit it, it will look slightly weird, uh, as you can see. Uh, but what we're gonna need to do to fix this is actually just crop out our character. So just go ahead and enable masking right here, click on this first keyframe, uh, enable the elliptical tool, and just go ahead and make a sort of elliptical shape around our character just like that. Now go ahead and set the feather type to both and the feather percentage to 20 and just go ahead and drag that over the character. Next, just go ahead and keyframe it so that most of it lines up. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course, but it will help if it is slightly accurate. Uh, now just go ahead and, you know, fade it in by probably like 10 frames, I'd say, and you get that. Uh, obviously need an impact for this. I'm just going to go ahead and split the bottom track right there. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a sort of just just a random impact, I guess. You probably have your own impacts, I'm assuming. Uh, in case you don't, I have a free pack out right now on the Zen official channel. Uh, so if you do not have some impacts and you need a couple and, you know, you, you want to know where to get them for free, uh, that is where I'm going to recommend you get some. Uh, so anyway, right now it's looking like this. And essentially what we need to do now is just split the bottom track down here. Click on this little effects button and add the 30 frame bottom track build up, which is also in the description. Uh, now, for you guys who are a bit more interested in how to actually expand on this effect instead of just completely making it, uh, or just copying it rather, I'm going to explain sort of what is behind the entire effect. Uh, so the actual colors is actually Psycho Stripes, and these are the settings that I am using for this particular effect. Uh, you do not have to uh, keyframe it as it does that. It, it adds the animation uh, automatically, pretty much. So just copy these settings and you should be getting sort of the same results. Uh, the blur mode curves I have added just to um, give the camera just sort of a, uh, a subtle sort of fade in, which really does help with the smoothness of the actual effect. Uh, the S blur is just to sort of like add some sense that it's fading into something i guess you could call it uh it probably won't look too noticeable for you guys because this preview is very very tiny or this preview screen and yeah it's just not very noticeable however i can guarantee that it will make a slight difference uh once you've actually rendered out the video in high resolution uh lastly we have some hue set bright and this is what is going to be changing the colors of the effect uh right here so essentially psycho stripes just by itself We'll do some crazy shit, all right? Those colors are not ideal per se. So what I've done and added is I've added hue set bright just to sort of make the colors a bit more appealing. You can actually choose, you know, exactly which colors you want to rotate in between. Uh, using this, 
So that is what I have done. Uh, anyway, that's probably gonna be it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you didn't enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.